I'm playing fantasy MMA at DraftKings.com. Let's do this shit! All right, goofcocks, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Starting in April through to UFC 200, we've got the most unfucking stoppable motherfucking unshit stoppable shit you've ever fucking seen. Fuck! I wanted to call it that, but they said we weren't allowed. 775 events, 93 countries, 37 title fights. You want fights? How about Jones versus DC? Rockhold versus Weidman? Stipe versus Verdum? What? CM Punk versus John Cena? Floyd Mayweather versus Sahada Civic? Joanna Rob Deerdeck versus Claudia Gadella? Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man versus The Iron Sheik? Sherlock Holmes versus the Super Mario Brothers? It's gonna be fucking insane. And just signed today... Uriah Faber will be taking on Dominic Cruz for the Bantamweight Championship. Uriah is going to be fighting Dominic and not me. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I puked. I puked. Somebody help. Wait, who's got the first fucking question? This question is for Daniel Cormier. Daniel, you seem irritated when you're around John Jones. I am irritated. Okay, fans. That makes sense. Yeah, boo me. Okay, you guys. Yeah, good call. Listen, I'm just competitive. I want to beat John at everything in the cage, at a press conference, in Mario Kart. You suck at Mario Kart, pussy. You think I'm going to let you beat me at Mario Kart, John? I know you will, Daniel. Donkey Kong is my shit. You think I'm just going to sit here and let you beat me at Mario Kart, John? Okay, respectfully, I may not be able to drive a car in real life, but in Mario Kart, I am literally a legend. Red shell all up in your ass, bitch. Okay, John Jones. What if I have a banana behind my car, John? It's not going to matter, pussy. Respectfully, your bananas aren't shit. Okay, John Jones. Okay, you don't even know how the game works. You see, this is what I'm talking about, people. And you're booing me? Okay, guys, good call. John, why'd you bring that fake-ass belt with you today? I brought the belt because I literally got beat by being stupid as fuck, and I'm five months sober now, so I defeated being a stupid fucking idiot, so I'm the champion again. Are you people seeing how fake he is? All right, guys, yeah, boo me, okay. Boo me for not crashing my car into pregnant people. If he learned anything from all this... He wouldn't bring that belt up here. You're a disrespectful piece of shit, John Jones. Somebody give me a shoe to throw. Daniel, do you need some Kleenex? You look like you just watched the end of Marley and Me, pussy. Okay, John Jones. I did not just watch the end of Marley and Me, John. I'm just sober. Me too, pussy. For like the first time since I was six years old, you are fucked. We'll see, John Jones. We'll see. I'm gonna DX suck at you so hard afterwards. That's not even a verb, John. It is now, pussy. Okay, John. Are you seeing this, people? He's just making this shit up. Okay, that makes sense, you guys, yeah. Okay, yeah, boo me for using the English language the way it was intended. That's great. This question is for Joanna Champion. I saw you and Claudia talking before the presser. What were you two saying to each other? We were just talking about how much we like each other. You know, we just spent six weeks together filming Tough, so we are just such good friends. Tell them how good of friends we are, Claudia. Very good friends. Oh, yes, we are just the best friends. Such good friends. Friends for life we are. Yes, BFFs. Claudia is the best friend anyone could ask for. Such that's best friends, yes, best friends. I just want to give you a big, big hug. Me too, so tight. Let's go to lunch after this. I can't wait. You know, I hear what you two are saying, but I'm getting the sense that it's not actually what you mean. This next question is for Luke Rockhold. Luke, if you were to say Chris was your something, what might you say that he is? Chris is my Anderson Silva. I'm your what? You're my Anderson Silva. I'm your greatest middleweight of all time. You're right, I am. Thanks for joining the team. You're my Anderson Silva. Yeah, whatever. Keep sticking to DC's little notepad he gave to you. Wait, what? Okay, fans. Okay. You heard me. We're not friends anymore, DC. I want all my Xbox games back you borrowed. I'm not done with Fallout 4 yet. I don't give a shit anymore. Get your own copy. AKA is dead. Me and John Jones are going to do a fusion dance and take all your belts. That's right, pussy. Suck it. Chris Bones Wide Jones. Your tag team now? With fucking mega powers circa 1987. I don't care if you resurrect the ultimate warrior and bring him to the cage. That belt's staying on the West Coast. East Coast. West Coast. East Coast. Hey, guys. This is how Biggie and Tupac died. Okay, and now rap is fucking terrible. All right, so squash the beef after we sell these pay-per-views. This question is for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Khabib, you've had some time off due to injury. He's been off for like six years. Hey, bears are dangerous training partners. Whatever, man, just get there. I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna beat you like I beat the champion. You have no conditioning. I fight bears. Just get there. Bears. Just get there, man. Huge bears. This question is for Dominic Cruz. Dominic, you looked amazing coming back after all this time. Are you ready, though, to be back in the mix regularly and defending your title? Absolutely. I'm in the best shape I've ever been. TJ Dillashaw's grandpa's not going to do a damn thing to me in there. You're going to get whooped, brother. 
One finish in nine years? Is that scary? You beat TJ, bro. He's a child. Be a big kid, man. It's fucked up. Your chin is causing global warming. Okay, dude, make fun of something I was born with. Were you born with back fat? Because you had it in your last fight? Who cares? I made weight and won the fight. I'm gonna smash you, brother. How are you gonna smash me? You have two moves. You're like Zangief in Street Fighter. Spinny arms and the suplex, that's all he has. Whatever, man. Don't talk to me in a closed room if you want to stay conscious, brother. Unlike you, I can actually finish. You need to finish talking. That's all you do, bud. You got a desk job because you're too old to fight. That's why you fighting is as rare as a new Dr. Dre album. How am I old? I'm the champion. Yeah, because you beat up a little kid, man. That's fucked up. It is what it is, bro. Herb Dean, thumbs up. This question is for Alistair Overeem. Alistair... You and Andre are teammates, and now you'll be fighting each other. Do you see that being a conflict of interest? No, there is no animosity. Yes, we are teammates, but we are not friends. We have never been friends. I don't hang out with Andre outside training, so there are no hard feelings from him or from me. It's just a fight, and I'm the ream. I feel nothing for him. Andre, your thoughts on what he just said? Andre? I'm sorry, I just need a minute. This next question is for, why don't you come over here, bud? Why would I do that, pal? You're old, bro. Okay, friend. Sure, buddy. Whatever, homie. No problem, comrade. Sounds good, bud. Okay, bro. Everybody is such good friends up here. Isn't that right, Claudia? Yes, such good friends! This question is for Stipe Miocic. Stipe, the fight was originally going to take place in Vegas. Now it's in Brazil. Does the change of venue make this fight more difficult? I don't give a rat's ass if we fight in Brazil, China, on the moon, in a parking lot, at a diner after I eat a big ham and cheese sandwich. It don't make a bit of difference because when the cage door closes and the ref says go, your ass is mine. And that's the bottom line. Fabricio, your thoughts on this? You just gonna, you just gonna make that goofy face, like, all the time? Okay. This question is for Chris Weidman. What do you plan to do differently in the rematch with Luke? I plan on getting my belt back is what I plan on doing. Join the team. What are you gonna do? You'll see, shut up. You shut up. Shut up, join the team. Luke's been doing all kinds of stuff, going places since he's been the champ. I can't wait to ground his ass. I'm sorry I want a life outside the cage. Yeah, stop making your excuses now. I thought antibiotics were supposed to make you better. They did. I beat you. Yeah, you got your excuses ready on DC's notepad. Again, where is this coming from? Okay, guys, I'm the bad guy, yeah. Do you know what John Jones said to me on the way into the building? Daniel, I was saving puppies and kittens from being robbed as I came in. You're so fake, John. I didn't see one puppy or kitten. As we were walking in, he called me the lamest, biggest pussy he ever met in his entire life. Isn't that right, John? Yes, Daniel. Respectfully, you are the biggest pussy I've ever seen. No, John. I mean, did you not say that in a parking lot? Eat 37 bags of dicks, Daniel. Are we pretending, John? Are we doing fairy tale shit? Is this the Legend of Zelda, John? Link to the past, pussy. Okay, John. You keep being you. Gonna make you my bitch forever, Daniel. You're so fake, John Jones. You're faker than the Truman Show. I can't wait to defend my belt, throw a shoe at you while Bruce Buffer announces me the winner, and then find you at your after party and throw my other shoe right in your fucking face, John. Okay, everybody, calm the fuck down. All right, let's wrap this presser up, because if everybody on this stage decides to start fighting, there's nothing in the fucking world that's gonna be able to stop them. Before we go, though, does anybody have any questions for the seven-time and only flyweight champion who is pound-for-pound pound number two in the world, Demetrius Johnson? I'll answer any questions you guys have. Okay, fuck you then. Thanks for coming out, you guys. Appreciate the questions, guys. Go Irish! <laughs> I gotta return some videotapes.